Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Well, in this video, yes, you guessed it right, we're going to be talking about a tripod. This is not just a tripod, this is an innovative, interesting travel tripod from a brand called iFootage. This video is sponsored by Pixel Village Creator Academy. Check out their latest one month intensive cinematography bootcamp where you get to work with red canon and sony cinema line cameras check out the link in the description now this arrived in a courier followed by an email which said that this is a production model which is going to be launched today and if we can try test it and if we like it to produce a video so i footage thank you very much for considering pixel village we really like it so let me tell you viewers right at the outset that we really liked it and i'm going to tell you why i like this and what is uh, being launched now is the gazelle TC3B which is a travel carbon tripod and a Commodore K3 which is a fluid video head. They have lots of uh, tripods, they also make uh, sliders, they make accessories, they make uh, mounting plates, they have lights, so check out their website, okay. The first impression that is extremely very well built for a travel tripod. Now, we have been using lots of travel tripods from various different manufacturers uh, in Pixel Village. Uh, in comparison to that, now this is not a shootout, okay? But what I felt is that this is really rock steady, even at the full height. So we'll come to that a bit later. The Commodore K3 is a very good fluid video head. I told you that you can also with a little bit of care also shoot a lot of stills with it as well and it has extremely fluid movements both pan and uh, tilt movements the friction can be adjusted by tightening or loosening the uh, butterfly knob they actually I mean, for me, they really act like a fluid head. And I don't think there are fluids inside. At least, I don't know if there is something. But it really behaves like a fluid head. And also, it's got a quick release plate here on top with, uh, you know, sliding marks. So, you can actually put a video camera or a still photography camera and level it. Now, any travel tripod has to be light right and this one definitely is it's extremely light the tc3b along with the k3 head uh, weighs about 1.3 kilograms and the height is about 465 odd mm so this will actually go into your backpack very comfortably uh, the ta3b uh, which is the aluminum one is a little heavier at about 1.55 kg and it's a little longer as well so well choose uh, according to what is required if you really want to travel light and sturdy of course carbon fiber is the choice well this also has a level adjustment so all, all you have to do is to pull this lock down and it will lock and allow you to shoot at very low angles. This will go absolutely flat on the ground like this, allowing all the camera movements, leveling, etc. And interestingly, the Komodo K3 head can tilt 90 degrees down, which means if you have to shoot completely vertically downwards, you know, looking down, well, this head can do it it will lock at different uh, positions and this is the second uh, position and if you want the maximum height then of course you will lock it at the third position now the locks the flip locks are also designed very very cleverly keeping that traveler uh, photographer in mind all locks can be released 
in one go, you know, like that. And it all comes out in one go, you know. It's, it's brilliant. I mean, like I said, it's kept that traveler in mind. Similarly, to unlock while packing, it's so easy. In one go, you'll be able to lock it all together. It's got five sections, allowing it to go to a maximum height of 1400 mm. It also has a very cleverly designed pointy feet. And if you're going to, you know, use the tripod on a flat uh, surface, it also has uh, rubber bushings. Very well designed. Okay. Very solid, very well built. And this is about 1400 mm. The aluminum one is a little taller at 1500 mm. Like I said, it's got a built to last feel. It also has a hook here. Uh, it can take a variety of cameras. We'll come to that later. But this has got a small hook here. So at any point, if you feel that uh, this is not stable, because it's light, right? I mean, it can tip over, hang something here, hang some weight here. It can be, if your camera bag is light enough, then, well, put that or use anything, a small carrier, small weight, a pouch, something that you can hang it here, which will improve the stability of uh, the tripod. Um, okay, so what else that I have to tell you is very importantly, is that the head, the K3 head is slightly different from a typical uh, still photography head, which we are used to working with. Now, this one actually has a half bowl, okay? Which means you can actually level it by adjusting this butterfly knob here. You can unscrew it. There is a spirit level here using which you can level the tripod. They also have provided a thread for an accessory arm using which you can mount an external monitor or another small LED light. Let me come to the innovation here now, okay? The head, I told you, behaves like a fluid video head, right? So the K3 head come off like this in your hand. And you can mount any uh, head here of your choice. They have interesting other heads. And of course, the leveling will still be available to you. So this is an interesting feature of this tripod. Uh, this quick leveling will actually eliminate this irritating situation, especially when you're working alone. You have to physically adjust the legs to get the levels right. That can be avoided when you have the leveling available at the base itself. So this acts like a half ball, if you know what I mean. And of course, this is a small video head that will go on top of it, threads comfortably in. And uh, well, once it is threaded in, this, uh, you know, act like your video head. There is, like I said, there is enough fluidity, both in pan and your tilt mode. There is no weight adjustments. Of course, you cannot ask for so much, right? I mean, that's all real pro level stuff. But let me tell you, this actually behaves like a pro head. It is not, I don't think it's coming back. It's going to stay wherever you leave the tripod. Very impressive uh, design concept. This is, like I said, it's brilliant, of course, for traveling, for a still photographer, and also for a traveling videographer. You can mount your uh, mobile phones on it, your DSLRs on it, your mirrorlesses on it. Well, this is excellent. And iFootage has accessories for every type of creator, uh, you know, depending on their demand. I personally see, besides the video, I see this being an extremely good tool for a bird photographer. Why? Because the lenses are heavy 
and the monopods most of the times are not or the gimbals which you use are not really exactly practical when you wanted to chase the bird in a very fluent fashion. I think if you mount your long lens onto it, this friction will really offer very comfortable uh, you know, movements for you to track the bird. I think this will be an extremely good use case for bird photographers. I really like this tripod. I don't have the aluminum one. I'm sure that also is very well built. And of course, the K3 head is the same, even if you buy it with that or with this uh, combo. I personally think that this is an extremely capable travel tripod uh, for all the use cases that I mentioned. Uh, the carbon tripod with K3 uh, will cost you about $229. And the aluminum one, the TA3, uh, B will cost you about $169 with K3. I think uh, this will soon be available all across the globe, if not already. Unfortunately, in India, it's not available now, so any dealer distributor can call, contact iFootage if you like this concept. Well, I will add a link to their website in the description. Do check them out. Thank you, iFootage, for sending this to us. We're going to definitely enjoy this product. Bye for now.